find the range of following trig function 8 sin to the power 4x plus 8 cos to the power 4x. It's pretty obvious that we need to convert this square terms into 1, power 1's. Let's see how to do that. What is uh, sine square x or 2 sine square x in terms of cos 2x? So we know that cos 2x is equal to either 2 cos square x minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sine square x. So from this you get sine square x as or 2 sine square x as 1 minus cos 2x. Right. So here, here you have sine to the power 4x. So you can write that as 2 times let's change a different color 2 times 4 sine to the power 4x can written as 2 sine square x whole square, right? And similar here you get 2 times 2 cos square x whole square. Let's substitute 2 sine square x in here. Then you would get 2 times 1 minus cos 2x whole square plus 2 times 2 cos square x would be 1 plus cos 2x whole square. So if you take 2 common out, this is a minus b whole square plus a plus b whole square. a minus b whole square plus a plus b whole square would be 2 times a square plus b square. So this would be 2 times a square is 1 plus b square is cos square 2x. So this would be 4 times 1 plus cos squared 2x. What is cos squared 2x? Or let's take the 4 inside. So that would be, let's take, if you take 4, four inside, this will be 4 times 4. So that would be 4 plus 4 cos squared 2x. We know that 2 cos squared 2x is 1 plus cos 4x. So we'll get 2 times 1 plus cos 4x. So this would be 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 4 cos 4x. So this whole term can be simplified to 6 plus 4 cos 4x. Oh, there's a typo here. It should be 2, not 4. So 6 plus 2 cos 4x. Let's find the range which is max and min. So what is the max and min for cos 4x? The max and min for cos 4x would be plus or minus 1. So minus 1 to plus 1. If this is minus 1, this whole term will be 6 plus 2 times minus 1. 6 times 6 plus, sorry plus 2 times minus 1. So that would be 6 minus 2 is 4. And what is the max? When you put plus 1, so cos 4x plus 1. 2 times plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 6 is 8. So 4, 8. So the range of this function is 4, 8. Let's see what would happen if we have a negative sign here. Instead of plus, you have minus then this would go minus, this would go minus, then you have a minus b whole square minus a plus b whole square. Then that is minus 4ab, right? So you have, you have 2 times minus 4a, minus 4 times ab is 1 times cos 2x is cos 2x. So this is minus 8 cos 2x. Now what would be the range for that function there? The range for this is minus 1 to 1. So the range of whole thing would be minus 8 to plus 8. If there's a minus here, then the range would be minus 8 to plus 8.